Hey there, dear Scorpio friends and lovers of astrology. It's Core from Core Astrology. Today I'm going to be chatting with you about the full moon in Gemini, which will be happening on the 11th of December if you are in Los Angeles at 10 minutes pa 11 minutes past 9 p.m. If you are in um, New York, it will happen at 11 minutes past midnight on the 12th of of December which is a Thursday if you're in London 11 minutes past 5 a.m. if you're in Johannesburg 11 minutes past 7 a.m. if you are in Bali or in Perth Australia it will be 11 minutes past 1 p.m. and if you're in Sydney Australia for uh, 11 minutes past 4 p.m. and uh, what does this mean this uh, Gemini full moon what does it mean for the Scorpio people so before I carry on, I just want to say, if you don't know what your sun, moon or rising signs are, go to www.astrodeans, put in your birth details and you will find out what they are. If you're a sun in Scorpio, um, everything I'll be talking about will, will resonate with how you radiate and shine out in the world and your young energy that wants to go out there and get what it is what you need in your life. If your moon is in Scorpio, it will relate more to your internal, reflective, emotive, receptive nature, your yin. And if you Scorpio rising, it will very much re um, relate to your immediate environment and what's going on for you in your life. So let's have a look, see what's happening for you on this full moon, which is a culmination point. So what was happening was that um, two weeks prior to this, the moon was with the sun in the new moon in Sagittarius, which was a time for you to reflect on your own personal self-esteem and your finances. And what's happened over those two weeks as the moon was uh, waxing and growing and now it's getting to this culmination point of being a full moon, it's in a place in your uh, life which is all about other people's resources. And uh, this means finances from other people, a marriage partner, a business partner, inheritance. But it can also relate to the spiritual, emotional or physical support that you get from other people. So your focus is very much about interacting and receiving support from other people. Now at the moment... Um, you've got the Saturn-Pluto conjunction happening for you in an area of your life which all relates to communication, thinking, writing, uh, siblings, your immediate environment and work associates. And there's a repressive energy which is restrictive and limiting to you, which no longer serves you. It used to serve you in the past, but now that Saturn and Pluto are joining up in this area of your life, they're saying this is restrictive, it's outdated, you've got to let go, you've got to move on. So there's an unraveling of looking at maybe the fears or the paranoia that are maybe holding you onto what used to work for you but no longer does, and there's a sense that you need to let go of this. And during the time of the full moon, there's Venus right between Saturn and Pluto saying that there's a feminine energy. This could be a feminine female friend. It could be good uh, news coming your way because it's in an area of communications, writing, contracts. Um, and with the Venus energy there, there's almost like this assistance coming along saying, I'm going to help you unravel the things that no longer work so that you can start forming this new way of thinking, self-talk, communication, day-to-day -day communications that will be starting from the 12th of January onwards and that you're still in the phase of unraveling. And with the Venus there, through music, through art, through kindness, um, through a good relationship, possibly from a feminine person, um, there'll be good news in helping you with the communications to unravel this thing that you need to let go of. Also important for you is to know that um, when it comes to the romance in your life, this is where Neptune is sitting in your chart at the moment in your life, um, romance is very active at the moment and it's about how you're expressing yourself how you're giving of yourself this could also be expressed in terms of being creative being an artist or thinking of how you're going to work with your children in a more imaginative visionary way where you can be more limitless and have no boundaries connect to god connect to spirit and enjoy not being full of boundaries be a boundaryless person in terms of how you give love and this resonates very strongly with the visions and the dreams that you have about having fun in your life or thinking about children or being creative or being a lover or being loving or romantic or going on holiday is very strongly activated by a very strong Mars which at the moment is in 
your sign of Scorpio saying that you are very powerful, very assertive at the moment, very dynamic about what it is in relation to how you're going to express yourself and who you're going to give love to and who whose children you might want to have or how you're going to handle the children that you do have or how you're going to express yourself creatively. If you're, for instance, an artist, you would be able to just do this most amazing artwork on that specific day with this beautiful, exact um, trine between Mars which is all about your physical health and and looking after your health and your persona and the Neptune is about how you love and give love to people and also how you creatively express yourself. Um, so this aids you in becoming aware of your thought patterns and your thinking and your writing and the things that you need to let go of, the fears and paranoia so that you can move forward in thinking more clearly in a way that will make you more um, attuned to who you are. So something quite unexpected and surprising in your day-to-day -day routine is going to happen by Saturday, Sunday. So this could be with your staff members. This could be with anybody that you employ. This could be where you are of service to other people. There's sort of a sense of a breakthrough and some innovative new way of thinking where there's a sense of independence allowed to you in how you think in terms of contracts, writing, reading, which will help you unravel and let go and have these breakthroughs so that you can move forward in the Saturn-Pluto conjunction from the 12th of January onwards. So dear Scorpios, I hope this has helped you. I wish you a fabulous full moon in Gemini. Sending much love. Take care. Bye.